Okay, so here's another uh, neat little trick that I've found personally really, really useful when I'm working on uh, Photoshop and coloring and things like that. Um, in the last video, I showed you how to prep uh, line art in terms of getting rid of all your rough construction work in another color, um, setting the, the lines to a nice um, black and the white of the paper as white. But now I want to show you a really neat trick um, for doing, for separating the line art from the white of the paper so that you just have line art on its own separate layer. And that'll allow you to do things like color holds very, very easily. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, make sure you've got your image high resolution, that it is in grayscale mode. From there, it's actually surprisingly simple. Go to channels. And what you'll see is there's only one channel on a grayscale image. It's gray. So all you have to do is hold control, click on the uh, little thumbnail image here. You'll see that it grabs everything, essentially the white of the paper. So there's two different ways you can do this. You can either uh, double click on your layer, make that a floating layer, and then just delete everything that's not gray, essentially leaving that layer behind. Or the other way I've seen it done, and it works equally well, I'll just go back and is you can create um, a new layer. I'll just flatten it and start again. Um, create a new layer here, select uh, the gray channel, invert the selection, and then just fill that layer in over top with black. Either way, you get the same thing. Essentially, what you're getting is all of your line art on a floating uh, transparency. So it's all uh, separate and ready to go. What I'll do is I'll usually just have a white layer underneath it. So it looks identical, but it's actually quite different because what I have here now is, again, that line art is floating on transparency and all the line art is separate. So if I want to do something like a color hold, for example, where I want to have a different color line work than just black, all I have to do is change the mode now to RGB or CMYK, whatever you want. Go to my line art layer, and I always label that just so I can remember which you know one it is. And I'll click this right here, the lock transparency. When I click on that, now I have complete control over um, that layer. I can grab completely different colors and grab a brush as big as I want and as sloppy as I want and it'll only color the line art and it'll color everything on that layer because it's locked. So it becomes a really really fast kind of powerful tool. Let me show you with something like um, you know if I have a base color that's quite dark like this I can even color lighter colors you know to make something look like glass or transparent really any color I want the line art is, you know, locked. All the transparency is locked. If I need to touch up the line art, I can always turn that lock off and then go back in and touch it up or whatever else I need to do. But it's a really, really powerful tool to allow you to manipulate your line art, um, save it in layers, control it, uh, send it to colorists or, or color it yourself in ways that um, gives you a lot more flexibility.